The presidential campaigns begin today. Candidates are now free to solicit for votes from the Nigerian people without the fear of getting into trouble with the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Let's talk about the campaign and the arguments so far. My name is ADS. Let's have this discussion already. Ever since political parties we are done with their presidential primaries, certain issues have made the topic amongst the spokespersons of the candidates. We will be looking at those issues and drawing conclusions from them one after the other. First of all, an argument was made around experience. Festus Kiyamo, the spokesperson of the APC, really hit hard on the candidate of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, when he said that Atiku lacks the experience to preside over Nigeria since he's never been in any position where he made the final call in the interest of his state or the nation, even as a vice president. Have experienced presidents in this country proved themselves? Let's find out from Omoy Showare, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AEC. Watch this video. In the case of Nigeria, what do you have with experienced people? i give you the example of President Buhari. He should have been the most experienced human being living on earth as far as Nigeria is concerned today. He was governor of Gongola State. I think that's three states at the time. He was a commissioner for petroleum resources, what you call minister now. He managed the biggest slush fund in the history of Nigeria, the PDF. Uh, I think I think Petroleum Development Fund that Bacha created. And he was head of state before. And then became president again. Look at what his experience is doing to your country. What about President Olusegun Mwabasanjo, former head of state, international statesman. You know, he was almost becoming the UN Secretary General at the point. I know most Nigerians don't know these things. Became president of Nigeria. Look at what he gave you. So why are we using, you know, corrupted experience as a basis for leadership when everywhere in the world, even constitutionally, nobody is said to become president because he was a Tiffin governor before or because he had occupied positions. People look for integrity, they look for character, they look for vision-driven leaders. But here, we are manipulated to believe that the person who was meanest to us in the state is going to be the best president because we only can think inversely that bad politicians are good for us. This is interesting. What you heard in that video is President Muhammad Buhari's CV and that of ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo based on experience. Can we then say that their words of experience have been of any importance to Nigeria or the Nigerian people? In this campaign season, Nigerians will look out for men that understand what the issues are and have first-class solutions to solving them, not by the many offices they have occupied in the past. One thing for sure, the argument of experience will be buried completely in this campaign season. Take that from me. Secondly, a third force has risen to give both the PDP and the APC a run for the presidential villa. Ever since the candidate of the third force, Mr. Peter Obi, of the Labour Party came on board, the major argument has been on political structure. The big parties asked the third force loud and clear, where is your structure? Following the argument, it will be discovered that the structure they talk about is more monetary than any other thing. And so, here is what the real structure is, according to Mr. Peter Obi. Watch. Whatever I hear of no structure, my answer is simple. A hundred million Nigerians that live under poverty will be the structure. <laughs> is not about money, it's not about buildings, it's about human beings. Only human beings can go to the pools and cast their votes. 
Human beings that are not pleased with the government will always make a change. That is the true political structure. And that is what we should be talking about. The third one is the argument of tribalism. Some of the presidential spokespersons have accused the other presidential candidates of playing the ethnic cards. This argument is the most annoying, the most useless of the arguments that we have heard so far. The only reason people make this kind of argument is to whip public sentiment and nothing more. To end this argument, hear what Mr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party said. Watch. I said it and I told my people last night, I had two Yorubas in the plane, one not and I myself, and I asked them a question. Do any of us know the pilot of this plane? They said no. So why did we enter this plane? I said we entered the plane because we are sure the man inside is pilot. And we are going to Lagos. And he's announcing us that they are going to Lagos. Tell us about Lagos weather. In Nigeria, he will not be a pilot. And he will tell us about Dakar. And somebody will say, he's a Yoruba man. He's a Osama man. He's a Igbo man. Are the poor people in North buying bread cheaper? Do they have free electricity? Do they have a, a Toronto? Uh, do they have, is there anything that's getting better? Are the poor people in, in the Southwest getting bread cheaper? No. All these things you see is elite manipulation to continue the criminality of our country called Nigeria. It can't be said better than this. Ask yourself this question before you make this kind of argument. Is your tribe suffering differently from the other tribes? Is everyone not feeling the heat same way you are feeling it? What we need to do is to elect a leader that will make the right policies to better our lives. And such leader can never and will never amass true ethnic and religious voting during the elections. You know the right candidates when you hear them speak of their plans for the nation. And that is how you will know them. Finally, make sure you follow through this season of campaign. This is the only opportunity you have to carefully choose who you should vote for. In case you don't know how to follow through, just follow me on this channel and I will keep you updated. Only click on the red subscription button below this video and do well to click the bell icon too so you get notified each time we drop important information about the state here. Stay safe and be well. I will see you again.